It's time once again for the Otaku Box. Oh, no, wrong way. Okay, well, um, last month's video seemed to do really well, actually, over a thousand views. So, kudos to everyone um, that watched that, that's watching this. And also, kudos to the people that aren't watching this, because they also contributed. But anyway, uh, today we have September's Otaku Box, I think, I presume. Oh, there's a little dent there. Um, yeah, so as always, it is a random selection of anime goodies and stuff. Now, I'm not going to open the box because I like it to be a surprise for the viewers as well. Um, just a heads up as well, just before we begin, I'm leaving a link in the description below for this. Um, I didn't realise, but every member gets like their own link or whatever. So if you click the link I put in the description, you get $5 off, I think, and so do I. So, just for transparency, I'm also gaining from it. Um, if you'd prefer not to do that, then you can just go straight to the regular Otaku Box uh, thing. Oh, you know, use other YouTubers' links as well. Um, there's plenty out there. So, without further ado, let's grab the stuff in the box. Now, ooh! Okay, now I was about to say... Now, I didn't actually vote this month on who it would be, because it was Dark Magician Girl. Spoilers, that's her. Oh, there was also Midnight from uh, My Hero Academia. Now, I was about to say, I don't know which one it is, but clearly I kind of do. Anyway, I'm going to unpack this and I'll be right back. All right, and here is the t-shirt. As you can see, it's Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll zoom it down a little bit there. Uh, and as you can also see, this is definitely not official artwork. Um, I have a Dark Magician Girl Figma. I've watched the anime. I've seen the cards. I can guarantee that is not her official size. Um, <laughs> obviously, the face as well. Um, you know, they, they've made her a little bit thick. Um, which is fine. You know, this is it's fan art at the end of the day. It's very good fan art, actually. Um, the t-shirt, I'm assuming, will fit me as with the other one. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen there, just so you guys know. But I did order an extra large, um, so it's probably going to fit. I'm kind of glad it's this and not Midnight, because Midnight is great and all, but it's slightly more explicit and stuff. I could probably get away with wearing this t-shirt in more occasions than Midnight, who is kind of wearing a tight latex outfit thing. Anyway, let me grab the box. Right then, well, let's try and get the... Ah, the, the wall scroll is an X. I say it's a wall scroll, it's like a scroll pattern thing. Um, yeah, and as we can see... Oh, okay, so this is a slightly uh, plainer design, because the t-shirt has the uh, summon ring thing that some Yu-Gi-Oh monsters have, I think, or whatever, it looks familiar. Um, this obviously is just the artwork. Also, I've noticed they've got the aqua panty shot going on there. Is she wearing underwear? Who knows? Um, yeah, a very nice thing. The quality is really good on this. As I said, it's not official artwork, um, so, you know, people may have a gripe with that. I'm personally fine with it. It's, you know, it's fan art. It is what it is, really. Um, yeah, I very much approve of this piece of art. Anyway, I'm going to fold that up. Uh, I'll leave the t-shirt as a backdrop, I think. And I'll grab the next thing, which is... Cardboard. Ooh, it's a box for something. What? Ooh, okay. It's a... It's going to be a Sword Art Online something magazine. What? Hang on. It's a something hobby figure. Anyway, it seems like there's three varieties. There's Kirito, there's Asina, uh, and maybe the elf daughter thing. Uh, actually, kudos to them for giving the box here. This does make me kind of believe more that this is going to be the official figure. Um, not that I had full doubts last month, but... You know, there is the chance that sometimes these things are not official. So, I'm going to grab this. Ooh, okay, it's a happy anime girl. What exactly is this? It's like cloth or something. Is it a drawstring bag? It is a drawstring bag, I called it. I don't know who she is. Um, admittedly, this crate is aimed more at people who are fans of Slice of Life and Moe stuff. I tend to be more into shonen stuff, but I appreciate it. It's a actually, do you know what? This <laughs> this is a pretty good bag for my Shiva because uh, my Shiva bag is actually kind of torn on the side and stuff. So I can shave in style with this. the 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 sheet will tell us who she is at the end. Uh, this thing. Oh, now I believe we got. Is it the? 
Hey, it's Asana, I believe. Anyway, yes, it looks like it. I will go and put her together, I suppose. So I will be back in a few minutes. Holy shit, that, that was a journey. Um, so you had to put the legs in, which, which is fine. The legs fit fine. That arm kind of fit fine. That arm took me a good five to ten minutes to get into the small hole thing. It's not the best made figure, I'll be honest. Like, I don't know... I don't know why they do that. Um, so this is their daughter, who's, who's adorable and stuff. I think her hand's meant to go up to her eye, but I'm genuinely terrified to move that arm anymore, because it might very well come off forever. Uh, detailing is decent. You know, the, the hair stuff, like she's got it braided and everything. It looks all right. And, you know, the face painting, I think... Uh, it's quite cute, you know, everything said. It's got a little bear, that's quite cute as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'd have preferred Kirito over all of them, and maybe her third. But she's not a bad figure, you know, she's cute and inoffensive. And, you know, just, yeah, looks a bit like Asana with the hair thing. Um, right, well, I will put her there. Yeah, overall, of the, of the three, I think, uh, or maybe four... Oh yeah, for that's Asana in her like wedding dress, maybe, or something, or her negligee, or whatever the fuck you call it. Anyway, right, let's, oh my god, please say you've got all your arms. Right, okay, I'm going to put you over there, because I do not trust. Uh, also, she stands kind of very forward-leaning, which is a bit off-putting. Anyway, next up is the big one, and that, ooh, uh, that is Asana. Okay then, uh, very sword art online um, this month, which isn't, you know, the, ooh, we could get the black version. Um, I think that's just an alternate colour, I don't remember that from the anime. It has been years though. What does that say? Oh, Ordinal Scale, this is an Ordinal Scale outfit. Well, that's kind of cool, because Ordinal Scale is the one I watched recently. Uh, this says number two. Does that mean we get the black one? Or does that mean this is just number two of a set? There's nothing at the back to suggest. Let's move these things over there for a second. And crack this open, shall we? Ooh, there's further cardboard inside. Now, this is looking slightly more official than the Rias one, because the Rias one just said Rias on the box, which, you know, I have my doubts about still. This, though, at least comes with something. Ooh, we have a boot. Well, that's promising. Please say that's not a snapped off bit. No, it doesn't look like it. I think it's like casting or whatever. And that goes under the thing. That's fine. Um, ooh, right, okay. Please say her head is some. Oh, wait, yeah, uh, she's, <laughs> she's turned around. Sorry, I thought she was headless, but she's not. Right, I'll undo this and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Uh, now, as you can see, the bleed is slightly warped. Uh, I think, actually, hang on, I think I can turn it around and make it droopy. Uh, it, it doesn't look too bad, I suppose, like that, actually. Uh, very thin plastic and stuff, and it can, like, move around in the hand, which is nice. Hey, there we are, that looks a little bit better, although it's very curved. Uh, this thing keeps coming off and is very droopy. Uh, the the print overall actually ain't bad, like, you know, her body and stuff, the hair's, the hair's done pretty well. Um, it's just a shame I'm going to have to bin this. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, wow, uh, pff, don't like soda online or something, maybe. No, it's because uh, her foot came off. So, yeah, um, I've had a look. I'll pull her off the base. Actually, the base is another thing that we'll get on to. Um, it's actually just... hang on. It's just a clear break, actually. Let me show you the underneath of the boot. As, ooh, shit, that thing's come off again. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, there we are, land in her hair. That's nice. So, let me show you guys. Yeah, that's actually broken. So, you know, I I can put it like that, but there's there's no... You know, it's just it's just snapped off, really. I'm pretty sure this foot would do the same, honestly. Uh, it's quite a well-crafted boot. Now, the base is my other concern, because... Let me put it back on the base. So, just to demonstrate, only one of these pegs will actually work with this foot. So, this is very loose, uh, as, oh, shit. as that proved, I suppose. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, I, I can put it on, but, you know, it slides around and stuff. That, on the other hand... 
you know, is, is well thing, and you know, it holds on to it. This obviously does not, because that's just coming loose. Uh, right, so it's got it's got to be there. The, this has to be the other peg, the peg for this. Now, the other foot will actually kind of fit in both. I think one of them is really tight, one of them is not. But um, so the other, the, hang on. The other foot's got to go in like that. She's kind of on her toes. Now the only thing is, I can't actually work out where on this base her foot's actually meant to go. Because like, I appreciate this turning or something, because her leg is like that. So the, the foot should be pointing this way, basically. And like, ugh, I can't really get her... So I could put her foot in there, and that's fine. That kind of looks normal now. But obviously she's miles off this thing. Even if I uh, rotate her... No, actually, wait, hang on. Yeah, no, this this is not working. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to bin this thing because it is basically fucking pointless now, really. Um, I mean, I I suppose I could glue her foot back on and somehow stand her up, but Asana is is not really a figure I particularly wanted anyway. You know, I. Not super, super into Sword Art Online. Box is nice. It'll, you know, I'll be able to store some figures in there or something, maybe. Um, yeah. So, let's see what's at the end here. Ooh. We have a magnet. Yes, it is a magnet. Of Rias, I do believe, from High School HX. No, uh, High School DXT. Sorry, not H... Oh, wait, hang on. I think... Hey, there we are. It's an acrylic standee thing. Um, as you can see, it's kind of clear plastic and it comes with a base. Um, you know, actually, I, I'm quite fond of these. I don't actually have any, but I've seen them online and stuff. And they're quite they're quite interesting concept because they're kind of 2D statues, essentially. Um, which I'm digging. I, I quite like the artwork and stuff. That's really nice, actually. This, this might be the highlight of the box, apart from the T-shirt. Um, I'm just going to have a grab in. Let's see. So I think the last things are... There's a sticker of maybe a girl from uh, High School DXD, possibly, and let's have a look. No, that was it. Okay, um, right, so let's read through this, and then I'll give a wrap-up, I suppose. This month's product. So, yeah, this is the um, Rising the Shield Hero bag, uh, which is the one I said I'd put my Shiva in, and features Philo from the uh, anime. I should have known that, I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures of it before. And there's the High School DXD Acrylic, which is the uh, Rias thing, which I said is definitely my favourite. Then we have a Fairy Tale Die Cut sticker, which is her. I don't really recognise her, um, but her, actually, seeing, you know, thinking of it, the. Is that Lucy? Maybe? The, the art style is familiar. I've never watched Fairy Tale. I kind of intend to one day. Let me check. This is indeed uh, Lucy Hartfilia. So there we are. And I believe this is the Sword Art Online figure that is Asana, I believe it mentions. We'll we'll discuss that in a second. The Ataku Box exclusives, they do give uh, different stuff. So there's the artwork winner is Dark Magician Girl. Still no credit to the artist, which I'm not too sure about. So I don't know why they featured Midnight, My Hero Academia, because I don't think there was a badge or anything that came with it, unless there is and I just didn't get it or something. Um, and of course we have the art print, which is very nice. Also, there's this little thing here, the bonus item. So fair play, um, last month they did mention there was a minifigure, um, and none of us got it, I presume. I think it was, um, they gave us the My Hero Academia plushie instead of a Sword Art Online minifigure. So, this month they've given us the Sword Art Online minifigure, which is very nice of them, to be honest. Uh, and next month is Akeno from High School DXT, or Mia from Monster Musume. Um, and that's a QR code you can scan for stuff if you want. So, um, I don't think it's going to be controversial if I say... Oh, hang on. Hey, there we are. We did get a midnight pin, actually. Sorry about that. Um, I just didn't notice it. I chucked the box, but it didn't make a sound. Anyway, that is quite a good uh, print as well of Midnight. I'm, I'm happy to have that, actually, because I get both artworks then of two characters I quite like. Um, 
unwanted stuff of. So that, that's not bad. Uh, right, anyway, I don't think it's going to be massively controversial. I think if I end this video by telling you guys I'm going to unsubscribe. Um, now, I know people in the comments may say, yo, uh, you know, demand demand a refund or something, or like a replacement, the Asana figure. Honestly, I don't care. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to subscribe after this month anyway. I want to try for two months because I, I want to give them, you know, a chance in case one of the months was a bit off. This is unacceptable, though. Also, the fact that, it, I don't know, it's it's kind of... I know it came in a box and everything, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still going to say this feels like a bootleg. So, all in all, I, I've got to say, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in this... Uh, in this box so uh unfortunately sorry to end it on a downer there we'll we'll end it with a really nice shot of rias there um thank you very much for watching i won't be doing any more uh taku boxes obviously but i will be doing videos in the future so if you want to stay tuned for those and stuff and as always i really do appreciate everyone that watches my videos so uh until next time goodbye